The bus gets there at my house at 3.30. My water broke. Her contractions was going pretty, pretty swell. Bring me that medication. Oh, look at my belly, y'all. Alright y'all, I have my 27 week doctor's appointment today. And this is how I'm looking. Yes, I have size one. I can't really fit anything, so I just threw anything on. So, yeah, we're here. And a lot of y'all are probably wondering, why are you doing the NST again? I have to do them every appointment, okay? Sorry. So, The bus gets there at my house at 3.30. That's fine, she walked off. Okay. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> We're having a baby. So it's three o'clock and Chris, of course, wanted to bring me to the doctor, but um, like he wanted to drop me off because he's like, I don't want you walking that far. But I was like, I'm fine. Stay at home with the twins. And I called him and I was like, my water broke. They said that all night whenever I was going to the bathroom, that's what was going on. My water was breaking, but he's so low that it's trickling. And here's baby boy. He, Chris and my mom are actually meeting up right now um, to get the girls. He had packed all their clothes, packed everybody's clothes, pull-ups and everything for everybody. I'm so sorry. I didn't get to film all the other videos for y'all, but I'm going to be posting the other videos. Of course, when y'all see this, they'll already be up. I'm going to be posting all the other videos before that I filmed, but baby boy will be here either, most likely tonight or tomorrow morning. So, so the reason why she said that I was really like kind of a little worried the way the doctor was like, hold on. Okay, so let me finish updating you guys. Um, so I was waking up last night consistently and Chris was like, babe, are you okay? Like you keep getting up out of bed, go to the bathroom. I said, I think I peed on myself. And he was like, well, just, he helped me get up because I've been having a hard time getting up. And I got up, took a shower, then all night I kept going to the bathroom consistently and I was like, oh my God, what is going on? What's going on with myself? What's going on with me? And is that him calling? Right now, update, my mom is actually at my house. I can see her on the, I saw her on the camera and Chris is on his way here. Um, so basically all night I thought I was peeing myself, but my water was, I guess she said it was, my water's broke, but he's so low that you can't even, um, like it's not all the way, it's not all coming out quick. But what concerned me was her face, the ultrasound, the lady that is my ultrasound. She said, yep, okay. And she took her gloves off, went out there, took her a while to come back. She came back and my doctor came back and she said, okay, we're having a baby either tonight or in the morning. She's, I was like, what? She's like, yeah, I mean, you're, you're almost 38 weeks. Um, so you're considered full term. And his, he doesn't have any fluid. And we don't, and I was trying to, I was like, well, you know, I'm not understanding. Well, she said it was low, really, really low. I still have some in there, but it's like a little bit. And so I'm like, well, can I run home? Y'all you know, being a mom, I was like, let me make sure I got everything. Can I run home and go get my kids from school, pick up early? And then I haven't even packed the kids. Well, I haven't packed my kids bag like i had packed my hospital bag and the baby's bag but i was gonna do it from a separate video with me packing their bag so um and i still didn't even get to film the video of me doing my hospital bag like showing y'all everything that was in it so basically my the lady was like you, you need to go to labor and delivery right now and i was like what i called my mom i was like can you take off for work and i drove up here chris he wanted to drive me and i told him no and I kind of wish I wouldn't have, but I drove up here 
Luckily, his homeboy came to the house and they were just chilling. He was getting getting the twins ready and um, packing all their bags. I'm sorry, y'all. Keep getting messages. Packing all their bags. Packing all the kids' bags. That's one thing about Chris. At least he makes my kids match. Like when he gets like them ready, like he would pack them with outfits, pajamas, and all that. I literally, he was washing. He was washing the twins' clothes. That's what he was doing. He was washing their clothes because he was like, don't worry about that because I was going to wash that. I had just finished the girls. And he's like, don't worry about the twins' clothes. I'll wash theirs. So he packed their bags and got all their stuff. And I was just trying to make sure he got all my electronic stuff, you know, for YouTube. And he, I think he's on his way. Cause like I said, my mom's at my house now. His homeboy's bringing him up here. And he was like, is he okay? They don't want to send me home because she was like, you know, I'm, it's a high chance you can go home and you know there's not enough fluid baby can get crushed and you know you don't want to have a stillborn you need to go there immediately to labor and delivery so i'm in here and i'm not really having consistent contractions they're coming but they're just not as consistent um they're gonna start the pitocin so i can get that done Cause there's still fluid in there and he's still moving um you know they're just concerned about oxygen so they're monitoring all that too but she said regardless he's coming today or tonight i'm a little scared my anxiety was kind of bad because i just was not ready today but i knew something was up like you know how you can tell your body you you know so chris will be here in a little bit um Hopefully he'll, I told him, I already prep talked to him on vlogging, labor and, deli labor and delivery vlog. So hopefully he can help me out more in vlogging and everything. So he might vlog a little bit. Um, I'm going to try and get some videos up for y'all today while I'm in here. Like I'm not doing nothing. So I'm going to try to edit and get videos filmed. Yeah. So... I need him to go to the car too to get my charger. So, yeah, we're here, you guys. Baby boy. Right here. Baby boy will be here soon. Y'all just pray for him to have a safe delivery. I don't. Oh, my anxiety's bad when it comes to stuff like this, but pray for baby boy. You two, what is going on? So, yeah, I made it to the hospital and everything. And. You know, uh, things is looking pretty good and decent right now. Um, her contractions was going pretty, pretty swell. So, um, but I wanted to show y'all something, man. Look at this room. It's pretty nice. I like it. You're so cute. Say hi, Jasmine. Say hello. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, this is the room we're working with. Uh, you will be seeing me right here. Uh, I want you in the chair. All night. Close. She want me in the chair, but I, I want to be right here because it's comfortable. So, as long as I'm here, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. So yeah, man, my son's about to come and I'm happy. I'm excited. For all you who wanted to know, I am very excited right now. And um, so yeah, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so it, I don't even know what time it is. It is 5.15. It's 5.15. She said that my contractions are still 10, 10 to 15 minutes apart. So they still, we still got a ways to go. But when they do come, I can feel it like in my butt. And it's like a lot of pressure, but yeah, we're just relaxing. And another thing I get to eat. I'm so excited. So she happy about that. <laughs> we ordered our dinner and we finally get to just relax and be together for a little while by ourselves. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just relaxing. He's watching TV and I was on my phone, but my phone is dying. So yeah, I'm just gonna vlog everything for y'all. Bae's gonna help me with vlogging because I can't get up and <laughs> vlog everything. Um, like how I normally do, like we're picking up the camera and moving around, so he'll be here to help, right, babe? Right. Where are you at? Ten four. <laughs> All right, y'all. Our five star dinners here. <laughs> 
Look, I can't. It was a five star hospital dinner. Oh my god. I didn't even realize that it didn't come with no steak sauce. <laughs> you know I love my steak sauce. It's the hospital. I ain't got no steak sauce, but I'm about to eat. He was laughing at me because I was asking them. I was like, so when is the food coming? It's rushing. <laughs> I'm hungry. They put a little sauce on Yeah. We got some. You didn't get broccoli right. <laughs> look at the look at the season they gave me. They're like, uh, uh you don't need no salt. It's salt free. Mrs. Dash salt free seasoning. Yeah, for the broccoli. My bad. Yeah, I'm about to watch some Netflix because he's watching the game. And I got my computer right here. The contractions are kind of spaced out so I can relax and eat a little bit. Wow. Ooh, that broccoli looks good though. All right, you guys, so it is 8.10. And I just finished editing a video. Chris actually, I told him to go, just go ahead and go. He ran to the house to go take, check on Bentley. So initially Bentley was supposed to go with my mom you know for thanksgiving and we we're gonna take him over there but i just felt like it was gonna be too much for her so he ran to the house and he's so sweet y'all you know what he did he was like i know you said you wanted to wear a certain wig when you go into labor and he's like i'm looking for the wig that you want to wear <laughs> so he's looking for the one that i want to wear i did not want to wear this y'all i just threw this on like i said that i had just an appointment i was gonna hurry up and go back home and get things done but he's doing that i just finished editing and i'm kind of crampy i went to the bathroom and it hurt so bad so like i said it's only 8 11 and the contractions are not consistent yet so we still got a little bit more time i'm kind of hungry i wonder if i can eat something else because that little bitty dinner was not enough for me i'm still hungry you been good for nana you better put your hair in my eyes. You been good for Nana? You been good? <laughs> Alright y'all, it's 6.35 and I only dilated it to a 2. So she said at 6.45 they're going to start my Pitocin and if y'all are familiar with my vlogs, I am nervous about Pitocin. Um, I only got it with Kaylin and Amaya, and not having it with the twins just showed me a big difference in labor. So I am a little nervous when it comes to this. Um, my anxiety gets really bad when it comes to like stuff like this because I know that there's going to come with a lot of pain. I am having pain. I had a, I can't even think of the name. I had something inserted in me, okay? A Civadel, something like that. And so it made it kind of, my stomach, it's, my stomach is on irritation, okay? I've been having contractions all night, but they're not like, they're still pretty far apart. So they want to bring them, they want to bring my, contra uh, they want to bring my contractions closer. Um, <clears throat> Chris is taking a shower, a quick shower so he can go and let Bentley out so that he can um, hurry up and, excuse me, I'll make it back. Um, Y'all know I'm worried about my little, fur, my fur baby. Um, I just didn't want to put, too, we didn't want to put too much stress on my mom being, because Jack's not there right now. He's, you know, working, so there's no one else to help her. So he's going to let Billy out, feed him and everything like that. And yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm so nervous though, y'all. My stomach's, that thing hurt okay i was hurting all night but i will keep y'all updated on everything yeah, all right what's going on youtube family so uh baby is is doing really really good right now uh she had to get an epidural because, you know, the pain got a little too much for her, but she's doing hella good right now, man. She is 
a very, very strong woman. And, you know, she's just being a, a mother. So, um, just gonna give y'all a little insight of what's going on. So, he will probably arrive here like probably mid noon, probably around one something or sooner. Or sooner. And, um, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. Right now, baby is. Is put on her makeup. I'm switching wigs. And, <laughs> and switching wigs. But he helped me put my makeup on. I did not help you put your makeup on. Uh -huh. What I all I did, I just filled in her eyebrows a little bit. That's it. That's all I did. I promise y'all. But um, y'all stay tuned, man. It's a blessing. We both excited. Um, and ready for him to get here and to go home. Pretty sure the kids is ready for us as well. So, uh, blessings to all y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. All subscribers and all. And thank y'all for the people who sent out, you know, reached out to us and everything through the text messages, through social media, and so forth. So, we love y'all. Thank y'all. And um, we'll keep y'all updated. Alright you guys, so update, it is 2.49, I think Chris updated you guys whenever I was um, going through the hard part and the contractions picked up, like the, my water broke but it wasn't like leaking like how I guess it's supposed to, I don't know, I guess it wasn't like a big breaker, I guess it wasn't a big hole in it or whatever but it picked up and they got so intense quick but I have been on Pitocin since this morning. <sighs> this is probably the longest labor I've honestly been been in. Um, last time they checked me, I was at a 3.5. She said that he's gonna come today, but I'm just like, what's taking this baby so long? Chris actually left to go. He was waiting. He was gonna leave early this morning, but they were coming. My contractions were coming so fast. We figure he'll be here like within an hour or so um but he ended up delayed my doctor said that he'll be here like tonight um so he left i told him to go check on bentley i just you know that's my baby my fur baby <laughs> so bentley he's cleaning out his you know cleaning bentley's bed he's washing his bed and everything and giving him food he took taking him on a walk let him burn some energy um, but, and I was look, I was on FaceTime with Bentley. I FaceTimed everybody, Bentley and the kids. The kids are super excited. They can't wait to meet them. The baby, their baby brother. I also, my mom called me. Um, we ordered some groceries for the kids. Cause she just like, this was all last minute. And you know, Chris just grabbed what we had at the house. And so, we ended up ordering. Ooh. I ended up ordering some groceries for them to have. I ordered they should be there tonight. Um, what else, you guys? I'm trying to update y'all. Keep it updated. Oh, I have this. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like way down there, y'all. I have like this peanut in between my legs. So like he's head down and stuff, but he was kind of like to one side. And... I guess this is just to help guide him down the right path. And my epidural is amazing. It's working good. I've been really sleeping most of the time. I'm starving. 
I'm starving and yeah, I'm a little cold. But I think it's because she just put in a new a new bag of fluids. So yeah, my Pitocin is up to 20. Don't mind my headband, y'all. It's just to keep my edges down. <laughs> keep my hair down. I guess I switched wigs. I told y'all Chris was like, I know you wanted to switch wigs. It was either this one or my black one. I kind of just went with this one. But he went home. One, like he, he went home to go do a Bentley, but he also forgot the boppy pillow. So he went home to go do that. I was going to film a video. Chris actually packed the baby's bag. He packed the baby bag and he finished packing my hospital bag. So yeah, that's what's going on with that. I didn't get to pack it. So I'm going to do like wet. Wet. With my boyfriend packed in my hospital bag for me video that's whenever i can move because i cannot move at all so oof, see look y'all like when i have a contraction i'm sure y'all i have it i can feel it the pressure just right here right here but i can't feel it anywhere else this is probably the longest labor i've ever been in I told Chris, I was like, you know, I don't want no hospital food. I want regular food. I should have recorded him, y'all. He was with my eyebrows. He's kind of trying to help me fill him in. I was like, can you help me? Just... I looked a whole hot mess. I looked like death. I still look bad. I kind of, I'm swollen a little bit because of the fluids, but it's okay. I told him, I said, you did okay. And I just laid this on here. But... I will update you guys soon. Hopefully, baby boy will be here in a little bit. Fingers crossed. I don't want to run out of memory and he's not here. I don't know how long this video is going to be. If I'm going to have to break it up in two or what. But he... Yep, he's coming. Alright, everyone. So, we went from three centimeters to six really fast. Ooh, I can kind of feel my contractions in, my, in the front of my stomach. Um, yeah, bring me that medication. <laughs> um, she's like, um, just let dad know to come. It's time to come back. He was cleaning out Bentley's cage and letting him run around and taking him on the walk. Like I told him to, cause I just be worried about my baby. But Chris is on his way back here to the house. I mean to the house, to the hospital. And, um, yeah, we'll be having a baby. Have baby ready. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're out of eight centimeters. Chris is downstairs. He, like, speeded back. Because she was like, you went to a six real quick. He speeded. He sped up. He sped back home. Sped back to the hospital. I told him, I called him, and I was like, I feel like... It's getting time to push. Cause I have pressure down there. So I'm just to put blankets in Bentley's kennel so we can we can come back. Ooh, this is the worst feeling. 